All right, welcome back to SnowRunner. And as you can see, I got the International Transtar back into the garage. And in the background, you might notice the Fleet Star and the White Western Star are already outfitted with the new tires. Uh, I took the liberty upon me to do it already to just go ahead and do it to those two. But I just wanted to bring you guys along with also outfitting this one with the new UOD2 39 inch tires, which are not as expensive as you would think because we can sell the old ones for the same price as we bought them. So these tires, they are uh, fairly chunky. And my mouse is in screen. But yeah, we should be able to have a lot more traction right now. So, looking forward to passing along through muddy stuff, muddy sections. Uh, I do notice that <laughs> the on-road capabilities are a lot are very reduced. That it's just clunking around a little bit here and. It just looks really clumsy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's doing what it needs to do. And of course, for the next episode, I'm going to have another plan. Oh, I'm already messing up my suspension, I see, but don't worry about that. It's only two points so far, and it's not going to be a lot more. And here we get to the first kind of muddy section. Let's see if what happens to the truck. Nothing really of interest, I think. We're down to third gear, going up to fourth. It's just struggling a little bit. But I don't know why that is. It's not because of the mud, I think. Or at least... I hope it's not. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have to get back and get our old tires. <laughs> the previous one were better than... But yeah, the rest is going to be uh, mainly plain sailing. So I'll see you guys when I'm uh, back at the scout with the Scout 800, because that already had its new tires. All right, so we are back in Drummond Island, and we are going to go to our Scout 800. Now I decided to bring you guys back here already because there were some muddy sections here in Drummond that were. I would consider kind of difficult for the previous tires. They weren't really difficult, but I just want to see how this one is going to get through it with these tires, you know? The previous tires were able to cope with it fairly okay, but just wanna just wanna try it out, you know? So basically uh, there was one task that I did not get yet. Um, let's see, where is it located? Was it forged by the sea? No, I already have that one. Oh, the Silent Observer. It's right in here. So I just want to go. Just, just... Just dip my toes in a little bit. Oh yeah, and also the truck kind of got a little bit beat up because new tires uh, kind of got overconfident, stopped paying attention, and yeah, then stuff like that happens, you know? And oh man, this truck is already rolling hot in grip even though there's no all-wheel drive and no diff lock dang it 
That was not overconfidence. That was just terrible placement. Alright, let me turn this truck around. The Silent Observer. What's the Silent Observer about? Visit the observation. You just need to go there. That's it. I was there. To get this. Then I could have just continued. Then it wouldn't have been for nothing. Wouldn't have it wouldn't have been such a pain in the ass, basically. Hmm. Cousin Cleed where oh there's the Scout eight hundred. Alright. Oh yeah, we were on our way to this watchtower. Um and to the port, of course. Uh alright. Let's get out of here. Again. Wait, where's that going? Hmm. I'm going to try it and then just continue there or am going to, am I going to go back the way I came? Just going to go back the way I came. It feels like it's a safer option in this case. Feels like the safer option in this case. Is it going to be? I don't know. I hope so. Just in a low gear. Just keep on moving. Come on. Oh yeah. Here we are. As long as we are still moving... Everything is fine. And there we are. So these tires, they are uh they're doing they're doing great. They're performing perfectly. They're doing as they should. Unlike the truck which is not staying in its lane on the road. But again, these tires make that quite impossible, but I mean, we are still moving on every surface, however, the, <laughs> the lighting, it's uh, it's questionable currently however both my lights are smashed in it looks like <laughs> so I can't blame them actually but again we're still moving and grooving so I'm still I'm still liking these tires they're still gripping they're still They're perfect for what I needed to do. Attach trailer. And let's continue. Here we go. Into new unexplored territory. Because we just fixed this bridge in the last episode. So, uh, the road looks good enough to just keep driving with this truck for now. I'm looking for a point where the small dirt road intersects with this one, perhaps it's here. So that we can go out and look for the observe the watchtower. Not the observatory, but the watchtower. So I'm going to get this truck on this solid ground here. 
Is it... Does it look promising going to the watchtower? It does look promising going to the watchtower. And then we have to go... When we're on our way back... We have to leave it here and then go explore it this way. Alright. So I'm going to leave the truck here. Stop my engine. Unpack. Restart the engine. Activate the ramp. Then stop the engine. Then change truck. Start the Scout 800. And start moving. Let's get going towards the watchtower. And this one has a lot more lights. No. I ninja that winch a long shot. <laughs> long shot. Alright. Let's get a little bit more serious about this. Oh. That was a lag spike if I ever did see one. Um, let's see how this road ends up. It's going this way. I'd rather do this from the outside. <laughs> it looks uh, more comfortable doing it this way. And then use the winch to pull yourself forward. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's come on, come on, come on. Don't stop. Don't get into get yourself into deep. I'm happy that we're exploring this only now because <laughs> When three episodes ago, I think, or f four episodes ago, we were going to explore this, or when I was planning to do it, even uh, like two episodes into uh, what's the map name called? Drummond, I guess that's where we are now. Smithville. When we went into Smithville, like three episodes after, well, I would not have been able to do anything here, you know? Yeah, I might have just uh, driven into the into the map and stayed on the main streets and then be able to reach the port. But uh, that's about it. That's about all I would have been able to get through, you know? At least now I'm able to get through mud piles like this and... Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, there we go. Here we go. We're on. We have crossed the road. How did the chicken cross the road? With the Scout 800. Oh, that, that was a terrible joke. But still a joke nonetheless. Oh, the mud wrestling one is right there. But we need to go that way. Our objective is there. Excuse me. We go that way. We follow this path. This path. 
Yeah, this Scout 800 has become, has become quite the off-roading machine. Oh, come on. Stuck on a rock. And that's why it went, it fell back down again. And again, and again. I'm just gonna go this way. Seems easier. What do we have? You. Flip me. All right, all right, I'll play it your way. And a beautiful scenery with the bridge I fixed in the background. Foreground, sorry, was in the front. Upgrade location. Excuse you. I saw upgrade. Right there. I don't know what upgrade that is, but I'm gonna get it. So that's what I saw in the distance. Hmm. It should be doable from here, actually. So it's basically just get gas and... Dang it! You. Get... On there. Dang, stay upright, come on. Don't be wheeling and doing stuff like that. Just stay upright. Come on. Just behave for once. Be a good off-road car and stay on your on your four wheels. Just try it for once. You'll see that it'll that it'll get you where you need to go quicker uh, uh, am I going to dip my toes into the mud wrestling am I am I what's this huh. this trailer looks like it's a ramped flatbed so it's what I'm using to get my truck everywhere or my scout everywhere but no I'm I'm tempted, but no, 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 forget it, come on, keep moving, don't even think about it, don't, just keep going, go home, you're going to be distracted and then you're going to end up wasting so much time on doing it and then it's not even worth it because it's just going to be an empty trailer that's literally the only anchor point I have really there's nothing else nothing there we go now we got a tree we had a dead tree but now we have a real tree and here we go back on to the land Come on, don't, 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 don't gravitate towards rocks. I mean, uh, come on, man. I know you have suicidal thoughts. Oh, wait, can't say that. I know you have destructive thoughts. I know that. But there's no need to get, to make my life so hard. Because I will continue without you. 
I will leave you here in the dark, in the forest, by yourself. There's another truck way in the distance willing to take me wherever I want to go. So I will leave your butt rusting here in the forest, in the mud. You tell me, I'll put you back in the ditch in the, in the, in the river and just leave you there. Just let me know. Just tell me if you want that. I'll do it. No problem. I'll buy my Hummer back and then that's it. Because I think that Hummer would do perfectly with these tires. I think that Hummer would have been perfectly happy if I gave it the upgrades you have. Like the strong engine and the, the, the good grippy wheels and the race suspension. I think that Hummer would have been happy. It would have been jumping a hole into the sky. You're just ungrateful. Let's refuel from the fuel tank into the scout. And let's go and get that upgrade. Let's see what it is, first of all. It's right over there, I see it. Don't stall your engine, come on. Let's keep going. Let's just go and get that upgrade, you know? Oh, get that upgrade. See, it wasn't that hard to listen for once, huh? The A12B... Uh, la, 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 a truck list. It's for the Kenworth Pacific B12, B512, A and K. So it's for the really big, for really big trucks. All right. It's no use to me currently, but who knows? Maybe uh, it'll come in handy in the future. It's good to have laying around extra parts, you know, always come in handy. Don't stall, don't flip, don't fall. Stay on four tires, like I said. And just follow the path for once. Follow my directions, please. See, it's not that hard to do. I'm not asking you to do the world. Just asking you to listen for once. All right. You. Oh. We are going to pick up the Scout 800, which is right around the corner here. And yes, I'm moving the trailer instead of the Scout. Because we're going that way in. And I know I made life harder on me by not pulling up the ramps. But I'm here anyway, so might as well just leave it. It was only a couple meters. Change truck. Truck and trailers. Start engine. Activate ramp. And let's go. There is no warehouse access here. All right, so I can see how I have to do this. Um, I'm going to change, uh, going to unpack and change truck and 
repair from the roof rack the international uh, grand star and the repair points are kind of lacking but my plan involves my plan involves the passing of the maintenance trailer so I can pick up new supplies if I need to so I will see you guys where I'm going to park up this truck and then we are going to start exploring the last bit of the map towards the last two watchtowers instead of one all right so this here is where I'm going to explore from I'm just going to turn the truck this way and then put it back on the road like that and then activate ramp unpack stop the engine and yes i'm going to fix the suspension on the transstar again so from the roof rack to the transstar fix it because we are going in here and this is the service trailer so we can pick up new supplies there and then we are going to continue down here towards cousin cletus but not cousin cletus because we're going to get off here and then pass over this watery area here to get to the other side so that we can get this watchtower and then move over to this watchtower because yeah, we should have been able to get this bridge, but there's no bridge over here anyway. So, got to improvise somehow. You know, and improvising is not really one of my strongest suits, but, uh, well, actually, it kind of is. Never mind, I'm just going to stop talking and do some driving. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go to the maintenance trailer first, or service trailer first. Even talking is not my thing. It's half my job currently. I'm not even able to do it. Dang it. Piece of human garbage I am. Yeah. Am I going the right way? <laughs> Just wanted to check. And I'm not going into some kind of, I don't know, godforgotten uh, place that I shouldn't be going and getting myself stuck somewhere. Because I wasn't seeing the trailer already. And I knew it was quite close to entering the place I was going. Now, if this whole road is going to be like this... I'm going to have quite a challenge. Uh huh, joking. Got low plus. And low plus was quite a fast low setting, so. There we go. Back to auto. Back up to it. Just to get the supplies. Repair from the... Oh, I can't fill the roof rack. Dang it. Service trailer has spare parts, right? Why am I not able to... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Why? why? What? Huh? not understanding something I think maybe you need to be at near the back how about this no nothing and what's the service trailer for it's useless all right you know what never mind we still have more than enough service points on the ready with us so let's just move along Mmm, Cousin Cletus, Cousin Cletus. You had to go in there? No, not yet. Next one. I think this is going to... 
I'm going to go into unfamiliar territory again, but I think this road will get me there quicker. See, that's the road I need to be on. And it got me there quicker, and this is the river crossing that I was talking about. Which looks more like a river than a crossing to me. And I'm not too happy about that, but we're going to see what we can do here. I hope I can keep moving along this rather than being dragged away by the river. And yes, I deliberately go over this hump. Because it'll give me grip. So I will not be dragged away by the water. No visible winch attachment, attachment points. So I'm going to be on my own here. Hoping I will be able to reach in time before I drown. And there we go. Hello, here we are. Alright. Let's continue. I like this path already. <laughs> it gives me a little bit speed. <laughs> It's uh, strong enough, let's say it like that. It's strong enough, solid enough for my liking. I think I can see the light. The watchtower is just straight. All right. And we go straight. Even more straight than we would have ever been. Please keep on moving. Can we turn off all wheel drive to save fuel? Because we got a lot of stuff to do. Come on. More solid. This is more solid. Oh! Why do you have to do it like that? Why? Why? I know you have destructive thoughts, but don't let them win. Don't. A pole is not huggable. Small trees are huggable. Like the ones over there, the, the, the small one. Those are huggable. Not poles, not power poles. Puddles are not swimmable. You are not able to swim. I can connect to that rock. Oh gosh. Um. Oh, thank God. It's right what I need. You get there. Turn me around. Not like this. Come on. That's not what I'm saying. You. Then roll me over completely. Roll me over. Roll. Roll, you bastard. That's too late. Finally. <sighs> Deep sigh. Upgrade location discovered. Support local rangers. Upgrade. Oh, it's right there. Nice. Just going to pick it up quickly. This is going to be pain. I know already. Every time I think something can be done quickly it's going to be pain come 
off road gearbox four fleet star international oh nice and we can also suddenly reproduce it apparently all right so for the trans star fleet star and white western star we have an off-road gear come on like i said four wheels not two you're not a bike you're not a dirt bike, you're an off-road car. Four wheels, not two. There we go. Let's continue onwards. Rocks are not huggable. Are not huggable just like power poles also not huggable they are not friends they are pain they are danger uh, that's the gateway to island lake it's the easiest way to get here hmm oh that should be like this, I I see, like that, go all the way, go here. Aha, uh -huh. now I see. Or you go from Island Lake, you go here, to Drummond Island. Um, I'm not going there, I'm going to pass the trees on this side. If you don't mind, and even if you do, I don't care. Then we're not going to go that way, I think. No, that's the lock station. Support local rangers. No, not, not really. Not my bet currently. You know, not my thing. Maybe later on when I have trucks that are capable for stuff like this. Then, yeah. I'll come and help. But currently... I prefer not to. Not yet, at least. We have returned... Not yet. Tourist attraction. The tourist attraction. What do you mean, tourist attraction? Uh, uh, how, uh, uh, how are you going to have a tourist attraction in this map? In this mess? In this muddy mess, you're going to have a tourist attraction. You know what? I'm just going to pick up the task just to laugh at you. Hi, sweetie. It's Karen. Of course it's Karen. So what do you want? You want me to go to Hollis Island. That's it. You know what, Karen? No. Not now. I'm busy doing other stuff. Exploring the whole map. Or opening up the whole map. Of course it's Karen. Well, Karen, I'll have you know that if you would have had a better car, which would be ready for grounds like this, just like I do, you would have been able to go there yourself. Don't make me do what you want to do. Stop reflecting. It's bad for your image. Karen. Alright, uh, let's continue our focus <laughs> on getting the watchtowers. Uh, my engine is hurting quite a bit and I don't like that sight right there. But I'm going to have to get through it now. Commit, commit, commit. 
Oh, that's strong enough. All right, let's get through it and let's continue. See that, Karen? Of course, Karen. Of course, Karen find her, found her way here. Of course she did. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what's this bridge? What? Why? Why? Now I have to follow Karen's road. Dang it! All right, I will. All right, Karen. Jeez. Didn't have to be didn't have to destroy a bridge for me to go there all the way. Hmm. Like usual, Karen's going to the end of the earth to get their way. Going to ridiculous lengths to get you to do what they want. Alright, before I'm going to be struggling with mud and then running out of gas See, Karen, my truck is well capable of reaching your stupid tourist island, whatever. Even if you think I'm not. But it's well capable. Here you go, Karen. I'm on the island. Thank you for the 500 bucks. May I now pass on? Very well. Goodbye, Karen. So, we're still moving along this muddy, muddy, muddy path. But because of the tires, thanks to the tires, actually, it's doing such a great, great job. And there's a fuel tanker. Oh, I love seeing that fuel tank. It's a whole fuel station, actually. All right. Well, no need to flex on me like that, you know? I know one day there would have been, you know, just gonna fill her up all the way. I know it costs money to do it here, but I rather I'd rather fill her up now and be prepared than not fill her up and be stuck somewhere. And I have to turn back. All right, I'm going to turn back for the watchtower. I think in my previous playthrough, I went here with the Azov. And then I stopped by here to fill up the whole fuel tank <laughs> because I needed more fuel. But then, of course, that was in regular settings. So the gas didn't cost any money there. Um, yeah, the watchtower is this way or should be this way. Yeah, there it is. So I should not have any issues after this to reach it. 
Come on. Why does this look familiar? Because the main island has the same dang thing. But then it is without a watchtower nearby. But I think it had an upgrade location. Oh, bridges and men. Alright, let me go and get that. What do I see here? A trick. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello. What do I spot here? You know what? I'm going to go to Of Bridges and Men. To get that. And then move on. Towards the next one. Towards the next location there. I'm going to explore what what's that truck. I want to know. Stay on four wheels. You've been doing that for the past ten minutes. And did you not like it? You are not a bike. You are a truck. You are a car. So, four wheels. Upside and right side up, not upside down. No, upside down is... Is a no no. Right side up. See, you're doing great. It's doing fine. You like this. No, on the path. I said on the path. Don't go looking for things to destroy yourself. Just on the path. Of bridges and men. I want to know. Which bridge are you talking about? Yeah. Bridge fixing. Of bridges and men. It's the island's bridge. Oh, it's the it's that one. Yeah. Two times wooden planks. That's it. Two times wooden planks. I can do that. It's not too hard. Alright, let's follow this path. Because there was something interesting there. Come on. Don't get stuck. Because whatever is there, I have to drag it through this as well. Oh, you need to go to the other side. That's what you needed to do. See, if you listen, life is so much easier. See what happens. Oh yeah, that's so nice, huh? Listening for once. Then life is so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Suddenly. Hmm. Oh, I like this road. Ooh, she big. The Pacific P-16. Be honest. Did Karen put you here? Did she? Did Karen put you here? Am I able? I'm able. That's cool. That's a big truck. That That's a big mother trucker. She a big boy. Alright. That's a hauler. Um, how am I going to get that truck back? To wherever it needs to go. Which is home. Um, you know what? I'm going to figure that out in the next episode. So, hope 
you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like if you did and i hope to see you guys in the next episode i hope you will have a fantastic week and have a fantastic day wherever you are whatever you're doing peace out